Hey, Mr. Tia, Tina. Uh, I really just want to focus on the uh, social housing area because it is particularly relevant uh, to my community of Manurewa. And I want to highlight uh, the Minister's $41 million allocation for emergency places. So these 3,000 places of interest was when the Minister was asked at the select committee how many new places. She actually said she didn't know. She did not know. So what does that say? That's, that's National's comprehensive plan. So what we do know is that there will be no new places under this government's investment. Of the uh, 61 providers across Auckland, and I'm sure New Zealanders will be really interested in this, there are only eight specialist emergency housing providers. And actually one of them, DePaul House, who, that has 12 homes av available to them. They provide housing and family support uh, for the homeless. So they are a specialist provider who's been existing for a number of years. And it's really interesting that the government want to support these providers, but actually what level of support do the government give to Paul House? They actually only give them 20% of the funding that they need uh, to meet needs of homeless people in, to, in Auckland. 20%. Most of the funding for this emergency housing provider, specialist emergency housing provider, comes from ASB Trust, from Hugh Green, from Bunnings Warehouse, from the Tyndall Foundation, from Mike Peddle, from David Levine, from schools, from volunteers, from philanthropy. That is who is meeting the needs of uh, emergency housing uh, across Tamaki Makoto. One of eight providers, that's the reality. So who are the other providers? Who do you think the other 53 providers are of emergency housing? Well, actually they're motels and hotels and campgrounds. And if you want to stay there, you have to pay $108 a night. And as we've heard already, the average length uh, of a homeless per person family uh, for being homeless is 155 days. And this government, their new $51 investment, they will pay for seven of those 155 days. So how generous of this government to meet the emergency housing needs of New Zealanders. But the most shocking, actually, was the fact that the MS did their own internal review of emergency housing policy. And what did they actually say? And the review actually came out in June 2015. And we probably haven't even read it, I couldn't find it, but thank goodness John Campbell did, because what he said, what the Ministry of Social Development said about the government's own emergency housing policy was this, it's incoherent, it is unfair, it is not accountable, and guess what, there is no system. That's National's comprehensive policy. Well done, National, that's your comprehensive policy. So if you have no system, then how are you ever going to meet the needs of those homeless New Zealanders who now consider their cars their homes? It's an absolutely shocking situation for a country that is so wealthy. That is this amazing economy that the government talks about all the time. Well, that's what that amazing economy is delivering, groups of homeless people. And the reality of homelessness in my electorate was the other night at Mountford Park, we had 27 cars parked up. 27 cars filled with families, so mums, dads, and children, because our families uh, have children in our families. And I know through the statistics through my office, in the first three months of this year, we wrote 34 letters to Housing New Zealand and MSD for families who wanted accommodation. And in those families, we had 57 children. And so in three years' time, when the government's going to build all these houses, hey, hopefully our families will still be on the waiting list. But for the next three years, guess what? Those families have to sleep in cars, sleep in garages, sleep outside. And actually, big mihi to LifeWise, to my uh, caucus colleagues, Phil Goff and Jacinda Ardern, who are sleeping outside tonight to raise awareness of homelessness. And the other people in the House, I know that the Greens have got a team, not sure about National, but homelessness doesn't exist in their world. Well, it exists in ours. 
and some of us are out there tonight to highlight the issue. David Shield.